Free climbing without a safety line, hundreds of feet off the ground, is impressive to see, but how well would you perform with nothing to catch you? Fear of death makes focusing on your next move very difficult. You are more likely to succeed in putting yourself out there if you have a safety net in position. We all know that you can only maximize your performance if you feel secure. The same is true if your goal is building wealth. Taking financial risk is so much more difficult if you do not have a safety net in position to catch you if you fail at first. In this video, I'm going to break down the cheapest way to build a financial safety net that will secure your retirement. The fastest way to build wealth is by investing in yourself and taking some risks. Many people pass up opportunities in life because the risk feels too great. Unlock your full potential to go all in by knowing your long-term finances are settled. Whether that means starting a business or taking full advantage of that once in a lifetime investment. Let's get into it. Full disclosure, I use this strategy, but I will not be using my personal numbers. For the sake of this video, I will be using data for the median American. Median salary, average 401k, average retirement age, average social security benefit, etc. So let's build out my hypothetical situation so I can demonstrate how I use the safety net strategy. The median salary for Americans between age 25 and 34 is 52,936, but I will round up to 53K for this video. It's easier to say. My hypothetical age will be right in the middle of that range, 30 years young. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, 69% of private employers and 92% of government employers offer 401k. So chances are most people have access to a 401k. So in this situation, I'll have access to a 401k as well. At the end of this video, I will give some bonus content though for an alternate strategy if you happen to not have access to a 401k. So don't worry. The average employer match is around 4.5%. But I'm actually going to break away from the data here a bit and use a more conservative figure. Employer match just means that if you put in a certain amount into your 401k, in this case, 4.5% of your salary, your employer will match some or all of that deposit. In my hypothetical situation, my employer will only match half of what I put in up to 6%. This means that if I put in 6%, my employer will put in 3%. 6% of my 53K salary is about $3,180 and the 3% match is $1,590. According to this article by Investopedia, the average retirement age is about 64 years old. If I fail at all other strategies throughout my life, I will have 34 years of work from 30 to 64 before I can retire on average and live comfortably on this safety net strategy as a last resort. This safety net strategy will also be supplemented by Social Security. According to this article, the average Social Security benefit is $21,384 per year as of February 2023. All right, we have built my hypothetical situation. I should go ahead and mention that all calculations will be done in today's dollars. That means I will be accounting for inflation as I project out 34 years into the future by reducing the return on my investment. You will be surprised how much of a difference inflation makes over that time span. In fact, I will show you the difference in spending power as we make calculations throughout the video. The average rate of inflation from 1960 to 2022 is about 3.8% per year, according to this article from World Data. So here's the situation. I have an average job with an average salary, but I want more. I want to put all of my extra time and money towards investing in myself by, say, starting a business on the side. However, starting a business is a risky endeavor. So of course, I want the security of knowing that I will not doom myself to working until literal death. I want to know that I will be able to stop working and live comfortably in old age. Having security will let me go all in without fear. So time to do the math. The traditional 401k has three primary advantages. It is a pre-tax investment. You get employer match to boost your returns and it grows tax-free. I will get into the numbers for all three of these benefits, but let's start with the pre-tax aspect. With an annual income of 53K, I am in the 12% federal tax bracket, and hypothetically, I live in a state that charges a 5% state income tax. This means that if I get a $100 raise, my paycheck only increases by $83. The same applies to deductions, though. If I put $100 into my 401k pre-tax, 
my paycheck only drops by $83. It is like getting a 17% boost to your investment straight away. I get to invest $100, but it only costs me $83 to do it. So if I invest 6% of my salary, that comes out to $3,180, but my yearly salary only reduces by $2,639. Put that into weekly terms, I am investing about $61 per week, but my weekly paycheck is only reduced by about $51. Sacrificing $51 a week is very doable, especially since 401k is automatically deducted from your paycheck you don't even have to think about investing it and you will grow accustomed to the slightly smaller weekly paycheck very fast. The second benefit to the traditional 401k is the employer match. This one is a no brainer. I put in $3,180. My employer puts in $1,590. That makes for a total investment of $4,770 for the year even though your annual paycheck is only reduced by $2,639. Once again, put that into weekly terms, you are getting $51 less on your weekly paycheck, but you are investing about $92. This essentially adds up to an 80.7% immediate return on your investment. To put that into perspective, the yearly return of the S&P 500 annualized over the last 50 years is about 10.8%. That means you'd have to be invested in the S&P for six or seven years before you saw an 80.7% return. That's pretty good. The final benefit of investing in a traditional 401k is that it grows tax-free. This means that any dividends you receive will not be taxed and selling shares to rebalance your portfolio will not be taxed. This benefit is a little more complicated to calculate, so I'm going to leave it out. Just know that there is another benefit on top of everything else. I feel like I can hear you screaming into your computer right now. What does it all mean? Well, we are nearly there. Now that I know how much I will be investing every year, I need to determine a reasonable estimate for my investment returns over a 34 year period from the age of 30 to 64, which is average retirement age. 401k options are typically limited, but most will offer an S&P 500 index fund, which is my personal investment of choice. I will use dqydj.com, which is a very handy calculator for average annualized returns over different investment durations for the S&P 500. Average annualized return is a metric that tells you a fund's average total return historically for the duration that you choose. In this case, if you were looking at all 34 year time periods in the history of the S&P, the average annualized return is 9.472%. Using past performance does not guarantee future returns, but it's the best I can do. I will use this figure as an estimate for our future returns. With this estimate, investing $4,770 in the S&P 500, even though it only cost me $2,639 off my paycheck, will be worth just over $103,000 after 34 years with historically average returns. I must say going from 2,639 to 103,000 is pretty solid, but now we have to account for inflation. If we assume inflation will continue at an average rate, our initial investment will be worth $42,052 in today's dollars. That is a pretty big hit, but still pretty damn good. So in this scenario, the small amount that I set aside when I was 30 gives me 42K to spend when I'm 64. But that's not all. The average social security check adds another $21,384 per year in today's dollars. I do not need to adjust social security for inflation because it increases every year proportionally to the cost of living. That means that in my 64th year, I have $63,436 in today's dollars to spend, which is even more than my yearly salary when I was working at the age of 30. And guess what? In my 65th year, I will spend the small amount of money that I invested when I was 31. When I'm 66, I will spend the small amount of money that I invested when I was 32 and so on, right? Each year, the chunk of your 401k that you spend has been invested for 34 years and therefore will have roughly the same return. And because I saved every year that I worked for 34 years, I will have 34 years of spending. With this safety net strategy, I create 34 years of income lasting from the age of 64 until I'm 98 years old. Considering the average life expectancy in the US is just 76 years old, this is a pretty good thinking net. 
So to bring it all together with my statistically average salary in 401k, I only need to invest $51 per week from 30 years old to 64 years old. In return, I can expect to retire at an average age with more money to spend every year than when I was working, assuming historically average market returns. Knowing this is my worst case scenario, if other investments and ventures fail, I can feel free to really go for it, to take some risks with my remaining resources. I can take a real shot at building real wealth while I'm young. Thanks for staying with me this long. If you are enjoying the video, please give me a like down below. It really helps me with the algorithm and I would really appreciate it. And now for the bonus content that I promised earlier in the video. If I happen to be one of the unlucky few who does not get an employer match, then the next best thing is investing in a traditional IRA. The traditional IRA is very similar to the traditional 401k. The only difference that matters for the purposes of this video is that the IRA is not linked to your employer in any way. At the time of this video, you can open a traditional IRA with Robinhood and get a 1% match. This is much worse than the typical employer match, but hey, it's better than nothing. So if we invest the same $61 per week as we did in the example I previously talked about, our paycheck will only be reduced by about $51, just like before, because the IRA is pre-tax, just like the traditional 401k is pre-tax. But instead of ending up with a total investment for the year of 4,770, we only get about 3,212 because of the inferior match. If we apply the same assumptions and calculations as before, we end up with about $28,315 after adjusting for inflation. Finally, after adding the average annual social security benefit, we have a yearly budget of about 49,700. Still a pretty good yearly budget, but it is wild to see that the match alone costs us $13,737 per year for 34 years. That's just over $467,000. I think it, this is a great way to illustrate the power of the 401k match. To achieve the same $63,436 as we did in the previous example, your weekly paycheck would have to drop by $75 instead of $51. So it's easy to see why I prefer the traditional 401k with employer match as the most efficient way to build your financial safety net. But this is a decent second place option. Well, that is it for today. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to learn more about annualized returns versus average returns, there is a difference. Check out this video. Until next time.